Good day there, I'm Alan and this is Alan Vale. Now you've probably often thought there's different ways of building a house and I've chosen to build mine on stumps and uh, my shed is built on stumps as well but they're in the ground straight onto the concrete. There's lots of different ways of building but why did I choose uh, stumps for my house instead of a concrete pad? Well let's find out. When I chose to build the shed, oh look out dog, when I chose to build the shed I uh, built it on stumps, I set the post holes into the ground and poured the concrete in and I went into some of the detail, you can probably see in the new pad uh, where the edges of the, pad, uh, the stumps were, I've raised them up 100 millimeters above the ground to start with, um, first of all I dug out the topsoil and cleaned all that off and then I did a cutaway you can choose cut and fill but on the farm where I don't have a compactor it's um, probably a better way to go just to do cut only and that's what I did so it was cut only um, this swale here became my driveway and I made it wide enough to take the water tanks you'll notice that the water tanks that I've got here um, there's three tanks two 25,000 litre tanks and one 3,000 litre tank all the tops are level so that you can connect the bottoms and they'll all be self leveling uh, there's a post hole there going in where my house fence is going to go and you see the rainwater goes through a filter system which is mosquito proof into the tank. I'll talk a bit more about the construction of this job and then you'll find out why I chose stumps instead of pads. Well here we go then let's get into this. Well when we started off we started off with just a, a straight cut no cut and fill I didn't want to have to be compacting anything so I got it all pegged out there's two ways to go with the machine shed. I could either build a pad and bolt straight onto that, or I could put stumps in the ground. I had a post hole digger, so I went with the stumps. Uh, so that was pretty straightforward. And uh, from there, I uh, decided I'd raise the stumps up a little bit out of the ground, so if I ever put a concrete pad in, I'd have 100 millimetres to work with. So I went along with that, and we put some little boxes in there to make a round hole into a square top get it all nice and neat and we lined up all the strings to get the outside of the concrete level with the outside frame of the building so um, that would be quite straightforward if I got to that point uh, the tractor was brand new at that stage and it was great you can see behind the tractor I've got the stockpile of topsoil I took off before I started leveling um, that will be used later on on the front of the yard at the house once the concrete was in, I mixed it all by hand. You can see over here, uh, there's a concrete cattle trough. I used that to store the water. And um, the water was at that stage was coming down from Perth. And so I had to cart it all and put it all in there and take it from that. Um, there's a crop in the field too, so I'm not worrying about that. My neighbour over here is looking after that. Um, there's the blue metal, there's the sand. Um, my neighbour, is incidentally, is... Uh, sand and stone cart for the whole shire so that was very convenient um, he crops my paddock and he gives me a few little benefits on the side so there we go i've got all the concrete in and set and the next stage is to get the rag bolts and get the get these metal plates bolted into the ground um, so the rag bolts go in the mounting plate goes on and then you can hinge up your trusses from that point and it's a great way to go. I did the whole thing by hand. I, I made a lifting frame for the tractor and the forklift, but I discovered it was going to bend the trusses, so I decided on propping them up by hand. So it's a two-foot prop, and up, up it goes two foot, then a four-foot prop, and up it goes. And then um, I screwed some timber on the side and 
Dropped it, pushed it all the way up, had it all braced nicely. It went really well. Okay, so there's the shed in there. Everything's in, no concrete pad. Uh, it's raised up 100 millimetres off the ground, so if I do a pad, uh, it'd be easy to do. And as it turned out, when I decided to build the house, I wanted to store my material, so the pad went in next. Um, I'm in there levelling and just picking up a little bit of the extra so I get a fine finish for the concrete. Concreters came in and uh, they put some plastic down. I wasn't worried about metal reinforcing. If it cracked, it cracked. It wasn't a big deal. It cost me $5,500 for that job. So that's why I decided not to use a concrete pad for the house. Um, if you're bricklaying, concrete pad's a good way to go on a sand um, bed. Um, but I decided to go for punt posts and stumps because I'm a woodworker by trade. So there's the concrete going in, getting levelled. They did a nice job and they did it all in about three hours. And there's the other method I use stumping the house. I drill the same post holes. I've got a trench along here um, for the sewerage so I don't have to crawl under the house and do it later. And uh, I've got the power in the ground there all connected up and the electrician asked me to have the telltale sticking up out of the ground at both ends so he wouldn't have to worry about it and that's all in the ground. There's the metal pipe there that goes up to the building to um, keep all the electric wires safe. So I've got a post at the side um, here and the post um, has an isolator on it so I can switch off the house or I can switch off the shed and still have water pumping from the dam if I choose to do that. So that was a good little idea and there we go putting the floor in for the house so I've got um, stumps in post holes and I've got frames bolted onto concrete in post holes. You can choose, there's different ways you can do it. There's always going to be different ways. I found with a rural setting uh, it's much easier to do this sort of work and do it on my own rather than to get concreters in and get people into level sites and things like that. If you can do it yourself, yeah, at least you know it's done properly.